Welcome back to our next retro game, Beast Busters. We're going real retro for this one. All the way back to 1989. I was eight years old when this game came out. Holy shit. Uh, why am I playing an ancient arcade game from 1989? Well, the answer is memories, mostly. Um, when I was younger, I once a year I would go to a, a very large local amusement park with my dad. And the arcade at that amusement park very frequently had this arcade cabinet. And I always wanted to play this game. I have a lot of memories of playing it at that park. And when I saw that it was included in this collection when it got released a few years ago, I immediately bought this collection specifically for this game. I've never played any of the other games in it. I do remember some of them. Uh, Guerrilla War, uh, Akari Warriors, a few of the others. But this was really the this was really the big one for me. There is a catch, however, and it's with the control scheme for this emulator. Um, for the port, the emulator that was used for this port. Uh, for one thing, they did not add, when they were creating this collection for Steam, they did not add mouse support at all. Which, for a light gun shooter in a PC collection, to not have mouse support is absolutely batshit. That would be like the PC version of House of the Dead not having mouse support. That is bonkers. Also, if that wasn't bad enough... Okay, how do I explain this? Um, the arcade cabinets for this game, when it was in arcades, used positional analog joysticks. That is, joysticks that look like guns, because they were it was a light gun game, right? Revolution X did the same thing. So did the Terminator 2 arcade game. But underneath those guns, it was just analog joystick tech. So whoever whoever set up the controls for the emulator that this port uses must have decided that because it used analog control that they could just map that directly to a thumbstick and it would work. I'll give you a hint. It didn't. <laughs> um, if I don't hold the thumbstick down in one direction or the other, if I just let it rest, the crosshair auto snaps to the center of the screen and it stays there. It's also extremely sensitive, so I have to be really careful how hard I push it, or it'll just instantly fly to the edge of the screen. Now, that wouldn't be so bad for a game like, say, Sunset Riders, where the enemies were far away and didn't really move, except for occasionally reappearing and disappearing. For this game, where the enemies are large in number, highly mobile, and constantly in both the background and the foreground simultaneously, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I am going to leave the continues on to compensate for this bad control scheme fuckery because otherwise this is going to be a nightmare. And I, I really want the whole game in this playthrough. But the only way I'm not going to pull my hair out trying that is if we can't lose. So I'm going to use that for... I'm leaving the continues on so we can have this whole game in this video without me ending up bald at the end of it. <clears throat> Anyhow, I think I've yapped quite enough here. So here we go. All the way back to 1989 for Beast Busters. Oh, bit of trivia. There actually was a second game made. It was called Beast Buster's Second Nightmare. Uh, I don't think that one ever made it to any console or home system. Well, uh, actually, it might have been on one of the Neo Geo systems. Uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to look that up. Uh, but I never played that one, so that one doesn't really matter. The point is, this one is the nostalgic memory bank that I'm playing, re replaying through here. So... Here we go. 
forgive the cheesy writing. It was 
Section 4. Section 5.
Satisfaction 6. Section 7.
There you go. That was a full run through of Beastbusters. Uh, again, I did leave the continues on. Both to make up for the screwed up control scheme, which you well saw in action there. Um, and also, it was just the easiest and most efficient way to get an entire playthrough of the game um, recorded for video upload. But, there you go. Hopefully you have some memories of this game. Hopefully you enjoyed this trip back to the golden age of the 1980s arcade scene. <laughs> um, so, thank you for watching that. Um, I can't link this game because it wasn't sold by itself. I'll link the collection to its Steam page. This is in a Steam collection called SNK 40th Anniversary something something. There's actually quite a lot of games in it. I just bought it specifically for this one. A um, few years ago, whenever this collection came out. But, anyhow, thank you for watching Beastbusters. We'll see you in the next video.